Welcome back on Peelers. Head injuries have always been a subject of concern in the NFL, but never like this. Our sports reporter Carson Fowler tells us what happened with the star quarterback Tua Tonga-Vailoa and why legal actions may be taken. Carson, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Leo. As you said, it's no secret that the handling of Tua Tonga-Vailoa's injuries have raised some serious questions. The, in the, for context, in the Dolphins' ma matchup with the Bills on September 25th, the star quarterback absorbed a violent hit to the head. However, he was cleared to return to play despite appearing to have difficulty even standing up. Then not even five days later, on Thursday Night Football, the Dolphins' quarterback was slammed on his head by a Bengals defender and forced to leave the game on a stretcher. The NFL Players Association promptly launched an investigation into whether concussion protocol was actually followed. Their executive director, DeMora Smith, has vowed to quote unquote pursue every legal action when it comes to the situation. However, to this day, no medical error or wrong for protocol has been reported and medical personnel have stressed that Tua's initial injury was in fact a back injury, not a head injury. But against the Bengals, this was likely a concussion. Miami Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniels was later asked if it was the right move to play Tua following the injury against the Bills. Here's what he had to say. There was any inclination given to me whatsoever that he was endangering himself um, um, from that previous game. Carson, that was a lot to unpack. Can you tell us what to his injury means for the future of NFL concussion protocol? So, Leo, the NFL has essentially come out and said that any injury going forward that results in gross motor instability will be a no-go when it comes to players returning to the field. That's basically any, any um, injury that, invo that involves the arms, legs, or feet, big muscle injuries where they can't really stand up or have trouble standing up or falling down, kind of like Tua did. So essentially what happened two Sundays ago is he was stumbling over and then they called it a back injury instead of a head injury, not neurologically caused, essentially giving them the opportunity to put him back on the field. I think the NFL is still really looking for the language that goes into this, like if they're, but nothing's really changed yet. It, it changes coming though, I will say that. But until then, there still will be a few of those, you know, medical doctor judgment calls. That's all we have though, Ella, to you at the wall.